Right now, we're taking all sorts of steps to protect our health. And one of the most important steps is, of course, hand washing. Now, for most of us, it's easy to wash our hands, particularly if we are staying home or working in an office. But there's all sorts of people we rely on who may not have ac easy access to sinks. And the best ways to protect ourselves is to protect our communities. We want to make sure our delivery drivers and construction workers and everyone else can wash their hands also. Because we are going to touch what they touch. So I thought I'd play around a bit with some ideas I have for a public hand washing station. Now remember, I'm an entertainer, not an engineer. I'm not trying to save the world with any of these projects. Just keep your spirits up and hope alive. Give you something fun to watch that will maybe give you some good ideas. To start with, what I have here is an ozone generator. I bought for about $20 on Taobao. It uses high voltage to generate ozone then pumps that gas through the water, creating ozonated water. There's some good data to support the use of ozonated water for hand sanitizing. I'll put the link in the description. Of course, you'd want to use soap also, but it's like wearing a belt and suspenders. Using both ozonated water and soap will give you the best protection. And if you don't have mains power available or don't have enough soap, one or the other will have you covered. Hold on, and let me get the rest of the parts over here and we'll put it together. Okay, I've got all my stuff ready. And in addition to the ozone generator, which I just showed you, I have this pretty cool uh, water pump that is motion activated. I'm going to show it to you later. And I have this two big jug I'm going to film, fill in with water too. And this is basically just a camping sink with the funnel. I 3D printed it. And I am going to put the funnel in the jug and then put all the other accessories together. Okay, the pump is working fine, but I do not want to test it indoors because it's ozone, it's not safe in here. So I'm going to move it outside and then let's test it out. So as you can see, the water is bubbling away down here and it becomes the ozonated water. I'm going to show you with the automated, uh, uh, automa <laughs> automated spout. Obviously, indoors, we don't want that. We know that ozone is bad for our lungs, but outdoor, there's no problem. And it seems it just drains to the other jug without any problem. It didn't leak or anything. It goes straight down to the other jug. So let's, let me demo again. 
obviously you would want a motion detecting soap dispenser here also but if you don't have the soap and you, if you are outdoors you only have the ozonated water it's good to kill the virus and bacteria but if you have the soap that would be better it's cleaner okay well i've had that outside for a few days so far the delivery guys really like it i also added a motion detecting soap dispenser this version is designed assuming water is scarce because in many parts of the world it is scarce it has one jug for fl flash water and another to capture the gray water so it can be reused for other things if you have no water problems of course you could just hook it up to tap and drink same with the little electric pump the motion detecting is really handy and it can be solar powered but a foot pump would work just fine i was quite surprised at how clean my hands seemed to get with just the ozonated water the published research shows it's very good for killing bacteria although really we need some data on viruses before we rely on it too much but it seems a good way you could make a lot of cheap sanitizing solution for a lot of people with just water and electricity overall it seems a public hand washing station can easily be assembled from whatever parts you find at the hardware store and i think we need to make a point of having them outside grocery stores and any place where people might be handling things it's cheap and effective protection i hope this little project was interesting i'll see you all next time and remember if i can do it anyone can do it